Hi guys! Hi! I'm so so happy you're watching this video because today I have a very interesting guest in my vlog. This is the actress from Russia. She's the actress of the theater and the cinema and she's just amazing sunshine. She's just amazing person. Her name is Daria Zuiva. <laughs> Here Hello. she is. Hi guys! So. Yeah, uh, Daria will share her story about moving to the Netherlands, about her career in the Netherlands as a creative person, as an artist. And she will show us her city of Maple. It's a beautiful place to walk and we are so lucky today, the weather is just awesome. Yay, let's go! It's very sunny, so let's go! Let's go! Okay, guys, the sun is shining again. Actually, it was storming <laughs> just 10 minutes ago. Daria. It's the Netherlands. <laughs> yes. How do you like uh, living this country? What do you like most? What you don't like? And what is the most, well, positive and negative aspects for you? What are the best and the worst things? Yeah, nice question. Thank you very much. Uh, Especially would... about the weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mostly I love uh, that everything what you see in the Netherlands is quite beautiful and inspiring. Yeah. I mean, uh, beautiful flowers. Uh, in the period from February till, uh, till April or May, they're so blooming, uh, they're so uh, smelling and it's, it's, you know, like it, it makes us crazy here. And uh, I now understand why people are so crazy about the Netherlands as well. It's not about tulips, it's, it's also about other kind of flowers. And um, the quality of roads, it's, it's, it's amazing. You can drive your car without any problems. People uh, are driving very well. A culture of driving is amazing also. And uh, if you don't like car and you think about uh, the nature you can uh, go by bicycle simply and all country is uh, prepared yes. for 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 using a bicycle for each occasion so it's, it's really the, cool the best country in the world for bikes right yeah and it, it's very good and uh, every dutch person has two or three bicycles and uh, uh, it's funny mom but when yeah. when i moved to, to the netherlands i couldn't ride bicycle oh really <laughs> Yeah, I could, you know, on this child, child uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. type of bicycle. Three wheeled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, after some practicing with my Dutch boyfriend, <laughs> okay. I started to uh, to ride a bicycle, and I, I find it very useful. And uh, I have on my bicycle right now different kind of bags, and I can do shopping. I can go on mar market, and I I always uh, bring a lot of stuff with myself and uh, mm. it's it's very easy on bicycle so I'm kind of Dutch right now <laughs> that's amazing because well we came to the point of your Dutch boyfriend right so yeah. can you please share your story of coming here because you are originally from Russia yeah where are yeah you I, I was born in Smolensk it's a old city maybe some people remember that from history that Napoleon was there mm. uh, Smolensk was guarding Moscow and uh, other cities in Russia and uh, it's very famous and I'm very proud to be born there and uh, at the age of 17 I was moved to Moscow and there I, I've been uh, entering a theater university because okay. it was my dream to continue with uh, creative uh, kind of jobs and uh, then my life uh, was uh, totally in this cosmopolitan city uh, filled with different new people and uh, so on and uh, I never had an idea to move to another country because I was right in my place I was kind of in my uh, dream world because I was creating yeah. it by myself in theater in film in with my singing and dancing you know uh, around me was always so, such a positive creative people so I didn't 
notice other uh, not very positive side. Then uh, after finishing the new, this university I've entered drama theater and then uh, I've passed several castings for musicals mm -hmm. and I've been playing in musical Mamma Mia of stage entertainment and it was an uh, incredible start right there. So I, I didn't want to move anywhere. Okay. Uh, but So you were just yeah. in your place and you were happy about it. Yeah. But what, what changed? <laughs> what, what changes everything in our lives? Can you tell of me a course, story? Love. Love. We're talking okay, about love, love guys. Love, love, love. Yeah. So, well, uh, I went with my cousin uh, to Turkey and uh, there uh, we had such a nice vacation uh, on the beach. And uh, I was a bit bored and um, I found um, there uh, some Dutch guys standing uh, next to the bar and I was thinking, oh, maybe to talk with them, why not? They're looking very intelligent and nice and interesting. My uh, knowledge of English was very poor in that time because <laughs> I was studying French in theater university, so I was not focused on moving or whatever. Uh, but. Um, I started to do that, so I made the first step, and uh, it was very funny uh, because uh, after that uh, we started to communicate with Bas. Bas is the name of my boyfriend, okay. and. Uh, then uh, he invited me to the Netherlands and uh, then he visited me in Russia and uh, that's how it all started in uh, 2011, 2011 oh. yeah. So like 10 years ago? Yeah, oh. actually yes. <laughs> you have a long story guys. Yeah, behind. and uh, yeah, we've been path passing through different uh, obstacles. It was not always so bright like a rainbow and so on because it's life and uh, it's it's difficult to have relationship on the distance yeah, definitely and so. we have had a moment of uh, pause uh, mm -hmm. yeah we we, we we had to stop you know because when you are 25 you all also want to develop somehow to learn what yes, you want course. in life so yeah uh, but uh, then after this pause uh, I understood that uh, this person is a very special person for me you know I don't know about mystery of this universe but somehow I felt uh, in inside my my feelings you know uh, that really I, I need to talk with this person one more time that you are connected yeah that we are connected and oh I started God. to see him in my dreams again oh. you know, or see his face in uh, Moscow Metropolitan but he couldn't come there without uh, my invitation you know but uh, it, it was crazy and uh, we made connection again I, I've uh, I, I've arrived here and uh, we had a conversation after what um, my Dutch boyfriend he was uh, waiting for me you know and it was so so special that he also felt that we made for each other yes absolutely and uh, then he invited me and uh, i started the procedure of making empathy visum of uh, this fiance visum and yes. uh, it was a nice moment and I started to learn Dutch in Moscow okay. and st I started to, to prepare documents for moving and um, you have to go to embassy and pass their exam and then you have to collect all your history of your relationship because uh, your marriage have to be proved okay. by government you can't move with uh, this fictive uh, relationship here and um, it's, it's quite strict and but we had a really huge history so so you had to problem. prove that you are yeah. a couple that you have relationship here yeah. uh, yeah. Dagia told me that uh, they had to show their pictures together yeah, yeah. The plane tickets and everything. So, some chats even from whatsapp and uh, first okay. uh, messages even yeah oh, ooh, so. it was very funny <laughs> okay. I was shocked a bit but some yeah. Hot things can be there actually. Oh, I don't know about hot things. Uh, it's uh, maybe, yeah, uh, my boyfriend helped me with that, what uh, mm. have to be there or what not. But uh, for my side, I've been. Uh, packing a different kind of papers as well like passport and uh, my uh, birth certificate and uh, paper that I'm not married uh, in still, Russia yeah still. all that trans you have to translate that then you have to put stamp on it so it's, yes. it's really boring stuff which takes a lot of time 
so be prepared. <laughs> but this is guys special for Russia, right? Because uh, Russia yeah. has this. Uh, things to do when you are guys from European Union countries yeah. it's much easier it's much easier to be in love with uh, yeah, a Dutch with person anybody actually the European Union. yeah, yeah. R- Russian uh, girls I think co- causing a lot of problems to jo- Dutch guys <laughs> or some European guys but, but to Russian guys they also do but it yes. costs that you know it costs yeah <laughs> 